They say welcome. Bienvenidos. La casa de cuervo. They all come to visit. There we go. So yeah, row crops. You know what they are. Like your beans and your carrots and all of that kind of stuff. And then, you know, like the cucumbers, watermelon, cantaloupe, that type, radishes like rows. The other ones that I just mentioned, cucumbers, that's Cucumber Island right there. And then all the way in the back here, all the way down there I hoed, to all the way up there, which is kind of nice to be able to do that. Kind of give you an idea of my property here too. So I'm going to hold this up, make a nice fat row. Then I got this, uh, this dirt is really super, but I'm pretty impressed with the, with the stuff I'm working with here too, but I've been mixing this stuff in with it to give it that super blast. And now I'm going to go fill my truck up and get me some manure, cow manure, hundred percent. And I'll bring that in too. So this is the backside of my house though, here. Made myself a nice little, <laughs> I think this is pretty cool. That's where my my washer is. Don't need a dryer down here because it's so damn hot all year, but there where my washer is down there. That's the top side. And then I haven't done anything up here yet except put the satellite up there, but I still don't have internet, just TV. Like I can spend the rest of my life watching TV. I don't think that's gonna happen, you know, but this is a really, really solid, nice top, you know, of my house. This is how big my house is with uh, a couple extensions. So you can see, I give you a, a good idea of the flora. Not a, lot, not a lot of fauna right now. You hear the chickens in the background, of course. Everybody's got them, but cobbled the road. And then that's uh, right down there. That's my my little herb garden down there. And then I'm putting all those plants in. See that giant tree right there? The last hurricane tore that whole tree down. That thing probably been there seven, 800 years. I mean, look at the size of that one. That's a big old mango there, isn't it? That's a mango there too. And then I got all those palms up here and the bamboo right there, kind of nice. And then look at that pine tree because I'm up like I said I I live about 3,500 foot above sea level up here in El Tuito so it's really nice because it's a nice high climate you know and so it makes it nice but I've been putting some plants in down below as you can see but isn't this nice it's a nice sweep huh not bad at all and then my property you know, 14 acres, it's a pretty good chunk. It goes all the way up there, needless to say. That's one of my roads. And then see that little road right there. And then this, this is where my bedroom and the kitchen is. Uh, here, I got a big old propane tank, so I only have to fill it about every seven, eight months. And then that's my, my carport over there. Those are bathrooms because my barbecue area is right down there. And uh, so those are two bathrooms when people come to visit. But that'll give you a good idea of this garden that what I've been doing. I, I, you know, I've been burning some to put that nitrogen back in the soil. And uh, I'm just pecking away at it, man. Uh, you know, I had a couple guys over here for a couple days, but they get so damn lazy. They just won't, you know, come back after a day or two. You just wear them out and they just quit. Only thing you can do is keep after it yourself, you know. But I just did that 
haven't quite formed the row yet, but you see that fresh dirt just turned down there. I turned all that, turned that whole row for the corn in the back. I said, put the corn in the back, of course, because that'll not, you know, affect the sunlight on the rest of them. So I'm doing rows all down in here. And then right where I haven't done yet, right there, where it's burnt in uh, the grass, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, uh, little islands, you know, little mound crops and put some watermelon and cantaloupes and cucumbers and uh, squash. I got all kinds of different squash, zucchini, white squash, acorn, uh, spaghetti. I love spaghetti squash. Got all those kinds of squashes and then the radishes and the beans and the carrots and the, all that stuff will go in these rows up front here. But I put the corn in the back because it's going to, of course, grow the tallest and I don't want to put it in the front and block the sun out. So you got to think these things out, you know. Anyway, so yeah, this is not a bad idea though, huh? Look at that thing, man. That's like a blank canvas. What do you want to do, Art? That's what I'm saying. And that's, uh, that's really nice, this thing. So anyway, I'll take you down here, show you kind of the rest of it, just to give you an idea. Kind of got to get on WhatsApp or one of those to see the whole thing because it's, uh, it, uh, the messenger just takes a little bit, you know. But this is my lanai, my patio, my porch. Well, I don't care what you want to call it. These are all my other tools that I got laying around here. Ha, 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 fish are bad. <laughs> that thing's cool, huh? You like that? Look at that thing, huh? Wow. All right. So anyway, yeah, I did pretty much the whole place of this kind of tile, though, which makes it nice. That's one of my doors. It's got a lock on it. And one of my hammocks. And then here's another one. And here, oh, sweet pea. And then this is, I just did this the other day. In the morning I was out here. I wanted to have something to do, construct it. So I went ahead and started painting my my chairs because while I was gone, they got a little funky, needless to say. So there's the other side of my carport. And look at all this bamboo I got right here on the porch, man. Isn't that nice? Look at the size of that stuff, huh? That's big old bamboo right there. That ain't no joke, that stuff. So, of course, you know Sweet Pea, if you know me. 14 years we've been friends. So, this is my living room here, which is nice. And then I got fans throughout the place that, you know, keeps it nice and cool. And then this here is my kitchen which is also pretty well decorated. I had to come back in and paint it, you know, because some of these alcoves and stuff where the Buddha and all that stuff was kind of getting rassy, you know. And, and uh, so I just kind of, look at that, probably the only one in the entire country, double door, bottom freezer, stainless steel. What? Uh -huh. I brought that from my house in Washington, my little oven. And that's how they do it here. I got to put some cabinets in. I haven't got to that yet because you can see I got pretty much everything stashed down below there, you know, which is okay. And then I got, like I said, I got my TV working. I just don't have no darn internet. So this is going to be my office guest room here whenever any of you guys come down to visit. I got a nice king size bed in here, but right now it's got all my computer stuff on it. Brought my chair because boy, that thing is just comfortable. I got, you know, I got good lighting in here and I got really nice closets I put in on both sides, not just this side, but the other side, my, my bedroom too. So this is the, the bathroom here. And then, as you can see, I did not do a sink for two because I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about I needed one. <laughs> Everybody else stays the night and goes in the morning. <laughs> so, anyway, this is my bedroom. And I got, uh, my daughter put that, as, gave me that for my birthday. Or one of, one of the holidays that just came up. That uh, raven there was uh, painted by a friend when I was a disc jockey. And uh, so, yeah, that's not, you know, I got light right over the bed and... I got that mirror in the middle, and then, of course, I got the same here. And then I brought that TV and that Blu-ray player, but I can't find any dang Blu-rays except for the ones I got. But I uh, don't have a dresser, but 
I did figure out, you know, socks one side, underwear the other, blankets and shirts, t-shirts, shorts, sweatpants, you know, and then all my hanging clothes, of course, you know, all the way down the line there makes it kind of nice. So anyway, this, uh, it's a nice place, you know, and like I said, it's all tiled. It's nice. It's all stucco inside, as you can see. And I, I and mi compadres and mi amigos did a pretty good job. Another thing that I like about this bathroom, though, is this shower here. So uh, i show you, I got one of those like Paloma hot water heaters. I got a nice big shower, which is great, you know. I have that, and I did all kinds of different tile stuff in there, but it works really good. And I got hot water because I got like one of those Palomas, you know, that instantly heat the water as it goes through the the pipe. So I never run out of hot water. I, I can go for days, you know, and never run out, which is nice. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's Arturo. That's where I sleep. God, look how sweaty I am, man. I mean, I've been peeling it out there. I have been going and going and going. I started about 7 o'clock this morning, and it's almost 11, so I've already done four hours. And look, there's my French coffee press. Not even a cup out of there yet because I've been so darn focused on what I'm doing. You know how I am. I never quit until I feel like I have to or I got to. or Yeah, so I got quite, quite, a, quite, a, quite nice uh, Buddha stuff, you know, that I've found and you know brought it as part of the decor in here and there's the monkey head which is kind of nice you know so and like i said this goes all the so i can't do a very long one but that's my jacuzzi that lady that i rented the place out to for a few months just trashed the place left everything a mess and uh anyway she left that uh, air oven which is really cool i like those things i never knew these are my herbs that have come up there's a whole thing of mint that a friend of mine gave me. Look at all my herbs down there in that rock uh, stern. And then there's some more herbs that are coming up. But look at this garden. Look at here now. Look at here. So anyway, it's only been, you know, a short amount of time. It hasn't been all that long. And man, these things are just popping. Like, look at this. You don't think that's much, do you? But look at this. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, that's nice. I look at Look at all of that. I can't stay long, but all the beets are coming up. Cucumbers. Look at them watermelon. Oh, my God. I'm going to have watermelon for days. Look at my lemon cucumbers. Oh, geez, that's nice. There's all some of my squash there. Squash, melons, uh, sandias, artichokes there. There's uh, squash. That's a cucumber, cucumber. Then look at all this out here. Got all that done too. And then these are the tomatoes here. Those are the potatoes over there. And you can see the corn in the back that I'm doing a border with. So yeah, it was really taken off. I am very happy with it. This is my new friend. This is Bravo. Hi, Bravo. Say hi. Bravo. Bravo. Say hi, Bubba. He just showed up here a few days, about a week ago now.